everybody, Sibling Power here, and today we are going to be powering up my end altar. You've just caught me in the middle of the magic ritual. <sighs> yes, the power grows. <laughs> okay, you can see. We're not actually in the end, and we're not actually doing much important. No, uh, I am here to go ahead and revive an old little, uh, old, really old uh, series that I did called Sibling Powers Pro Tips. And it's not really that old, but it is pretty old. So, uh, yeah, you had would have had to been with me for a while to actually remember Pro Tips. But Pro Tips is essentially where I show you interesting little things that are not for the novice of Minecraft, or the novice might not know. So, basically what I've got going on here is I've got a little particle effect happening. I've done this using uh, command blocks and my command block knowledge and 1.9. <laughs> or the 1.9 snapshots anyway with these cool command blocks. So, basically I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done. So, if we break this altar, you kind of see the, com the particle effect drops and it stops. So... Uh, what I'm doing essentially is if I take any old block and put it there I'm actually what I did back here is I actually connected redstone but if we don't need redstone we can actually do this with just any old block there uh, and essentially what's going on is I'm summoning if we look closely I'm summoning uh, we didn't see them uh, but I'm basically I'm summoning little uh, little ender mites. Let's go ahead and video settings, particles. Let's go just minimal. Minimal particles. And maybe we'll be able to see. No, God, that's still a lot. Okay, well. Uh, it does appear that I'm not going to be able to. Ah, I'm not going to be able to see them. Okay, so. Basically, I'm summoning little ender mites, and they are. Uh, going and they are pretty much just they're dying they're appearing and they're dying and you can actually see the invisibility particles coming off they are invisible and yeah they're just they're just dying and it's uh, making little purple bits and blue and white smoke so that is essentially a particle effect and it uses this which has no command in it this is just the clock to make these two go off and these two are pretty much a um a uh, summon command using the uh, amplifiers. Uh, also, if you were wondering, I also made them silent so we wouldn't hear them. But yeah, um, if you were wondering how I got this command, I actually used a command generator for the summon command. The kill command, though, is pretty basic. It's just a kill endermite radius of 15. So yeah, the, I will leave a link to the command generator I used in the description. Uh, and yeah, next we're going to go over to the next little thing that I've set up over here. And this is essentially a creeper who cannot be shot with arrows. This is not an invincible creeper, and this will not kill me if I get too close. This guy can be hit, but he can't be hit by arrows. Uh, arrows cannot fly anywhere near him actually so if we shoot the arrows there they won't actually like appear there so pretty much what's going on here is I have a command block set up in the ground down here that's always active and it is killing arrows in a radius of eight so it is the same idea as the endermite but is now doing it to form a sort of force field in this area so it's a pretty cool little uh, thing yeah look at this look at this these are cool and these are cool so yeah um those are the <clears throat> next bit i'm sorry if my voice is a little rough i mm, think i'm losing it this is a problem all right so and just to uh, heighten my point this creeper is not in fact invincible he can die so yeah Let's go ahead and move on now after we've turned off the rain. I've done all these effects since then. But yeah, so if we go ahead and turn off the rain here. We can actually go and do the next. So let's give uh, myself a command block here. We're going to need it. And now we, we're probably going to move along to the last two commands, which are both pretty much nukes. <laughs> Uh, the, the both of these commands are able to create little massive explosions. N little and massive are opposites of each other. But 
we're gonna go ahead and say it anyway so if we go ahead and put this here and we go ahead and we're gonna do the slash summon and first one is going to be under crystal and we are going to put it exactly 1.5 blocks above or no it's zero yeah 1.5 and then that yeah that will work and now as you can see these things create a decent sized explosion but if we go ahead and go somewhere else and we do this again uh, we're going to go the slash summon uh, and ender crystal ender crystal and then and then the 1.5 all right, so pretty much and we're going to put this to repeat and then we're going to put this on. So pretty much what's going to happen now is if I just leave this running for a few seconds, we're going to get uh, a bunch of ender crystals. One every tick will spawn because that's what the repeat does. And it's a pretty cool little effect, but if we go ahead and break out the command block, uh, we're going to get something a little... Yeah, crazy. It's actually it's going to be very loud. So uh <laughs> you might want to turn this down a little bit. It's gonna be one really big loud explosion. So let's punch it and wait for the effect to go off. Let's ah! Ow. Okay, but yeah, as you can see, this is a very big explosion, much bigger than a TNT would be. And if I left it going longer, we could probably get a little bigger, but I do think they do not have the biggest blast radius. So, yeah, we are we didn't get, so it's not the biggest explosion, but there is a bigger one. Uh, if we go ahead and spawn in another command block, and we give ourselves some rails... We can go ahead and do another one, a bigger explosion, one that is even more powerful and scary. You can see I did it over there. But yeah, so let's go and find an area we can blow up. Uh, it's going to make a big explosion. It's not actually going to destroy too many, uh, too many types of blocks. It is still going to, you know, like explode certain things, but it's pretty big. So essentially if we go over here I think is a good place to set this up so pretty much we're gonna break out the ground here and we're gonna put a command block in there we're gonna put it to repeat again and this time we're going to summon a minecart with TNT in it summon minecart TNT and we are going to put this at 1.5 again I believe and I believe that should work that should work. Let's actually set this to impulse just to test this. And pretty much. All right, perfect. It puts it right on the rail and we can work with that. Okay. So pretty much what's going to happen here is it's going to move forward. And let's see what happens. So Let's go ahead and put our lever, get our lever out and switch this to, to repeat. And then we're going to put a block there. And then we're going to put the lever on and we're going to tick it. So now what's going on is it's summoning a lot of these dudes. And you've probably seen this glitch uh, before, but these things will actually move in a line forever. Uh, but they do do something really cool if they make contact with a block. So we push these things forward they will actually create a very big explosion <laughs> ow okay but yeah as you can see this explosion is quite a bit bigger than the end crystal explosion um, but yeah those are two nukes you can create using the summon command and a repeating command block from the snapshots so yeah guys I uh, hope you have enjoyed this video, and yeah, I uh, I guess I'll see everyone in the next video. A goodbye, everyone.